Uh, emerald ash borer is an invasive beetle um, that is native to Eastern Asia. That showed up in the U.S. Um, in 2001. It was first detected, but it's probably been here since the mid-1990s. Um, it attacks ash trees, only trees in the genus Fraxinus. And uh, just the simple act of feeding in the cambium layer, it will girdle the tree and shut off the flow of sugars from the leaves down to the roots and, um, and kill the tree. In the U.S. we have 16 species of ash trees that are native to North America. And all 16 of these species are susceptible to emerald ash borer. We know from common garden experiments, uh, Oregon ash is susceptible. In fact, it's over 95% susceptible to emerald ash borer. Meaning that if emerald ash borer were to ever get to Oregon and could survive our climate and, and other biotic factors, then it could run rampant through Oregon ash and virtually kill every single one of them. Essentially, the whole species could go extinct from emerald ash borer. We think it got here first on um, infested uh, wood packing material on pallets and um, it has spread now um, across 22 states in the Midwest and as far west as uh, Boulder, Colorado. Uh, but now that it's here, it's primarily spread across the continent in infested wood material like firewood. Emerald ash borer is the costliest invasive insect to ever invade forests of the U.S. Um, costs exceed $3.5 billion to date. Its damages include uh, direct removal and replacement costs, all the way up to property value losses for landowners. Um, here in Oregon, we face those same sort of um, uh, threats with uh, property owners footing a huge part of the bill, both in property value loss and control. Uh, the other players in this would be state governments, county governments, city governments that will have a tremendous amount of cost, and we're talking tens of millions of dollars. The city of Portland has a, a tree inventory, and we know from this tree inventory that about 5% of the trees in Portland are susceptible ash trees. That doesn't sound like very much, but the sheer numbers, we're talking uh, maybe 100,000 trees uh, that could be killed by emerald ash borer. So those costs of, of removing those trees and planting them with a, a new uh, tree species that is not susceptible to emerald ash borer could be $50 million or more. And that's just for Portland. So currently, um, emerald ash borer has killed over 100 million ash trees in the U.S. And that's just a staggering uh, amount of ash trees. In some areas, it's 99% of all the ash have been killed by emerald ash borer. So the ecological um, impacts are, are tremendous. So we have our, our single native ash species here in Oregon, the, uh, the Oregon ash, and that's behind me here, that grows in these riparian areas. And uh, it's kind of hard to imagine what these riparian areas in Western Oregon and Washington and California would be like without Oregon ash. It, it's an important tree for, for wildlife, uh, songbirds and uh, insects as well as we know there are some native plants that are associated with Oregon ash stands. So what would happen if these Oregon ash stands disappear? Well, we could lose the, that wildlife refuge. We could lose native plants that rely upon the, the understory of the ash canopy. So we really don't know exactly what's going to happen, except that it's going to be a severe negative consequence for getting emerald ash borer here.